What's up YouTube, welcome back to Gadget Beer. Today we have a video on the Sony Xperia XA2 Ultra. Now this is tips and tricks. So without further ado, let's get started with the first one. So when you first buy your Sony Xperia XA2 Ultra, let's start by setting up the Xperia Home. Now the Xperia Home is the launcher. So just some minor tips and tricks I wanna let you know about to making this launcher seem more usable and not too overwhelmed with the Sony experience because uh, it gets, it tends to be a little bit overwhelming at times. But for example, if you slide down, now we have our recent searches there. Before it'll give you app suggestions, which just bombards you with a load of apps that are on the phone and that are not on the phone. So let's go into settings. Now these are a couple options that I want to enable and disable. So first of all, we want to make sure we have that Google feed enabled. That's so when you slide right, the Google feed home pops up and the app recommendation we need to disable the app recommendation that's so you don't get bombarded with all those apps when you quickly slide down on the home screen uh, auto rotation is optional if you like your home screen to go into landscape mode when you rotate your phone uh, i like that so i will enable mine the icon sizes uh, i do like more real estate so I like to take advantage of that six inch screen so I'm gonna make my icon sizes small uh, but that's catered to your liking also I want to hide the app icons um, drawer so basically if I enable this we're gonna go over here we're gonna see this app drawer there um, now you can't slide up you gotta do the touch it to in, a, in order to get to the app drawer but if we select to hide it now it'll give us the google now launcher experience like on the pixel where we can just slide up and slide down and it'll go into the launcher now we also want to enable quid add icons now what this does is when you're in the app drawer it allows you to quickly add an icon by just swiping up and placing it there on your home screen also we want to make sure that you remove you have the remove duplicates enabled just so you don't have duplicate icons on your home screen that always and also this is just another option automatically place icons together so when you add a uh, new icons to the home screen or automatically put them together next in order with the next available spot those are just some quick recommendations for setting up the Xperia home launcher. Uh, now let's get to tip number two. One great thing about this phone is that it is <coughs> cast available or Google cast enabled. So if we were to go to devices here, uh, we do have the option to use Google cast to cast any content into a Google Chrome or a Google cast device. Not only can you cast to Chromecast, but you can also cast to any TV enabled with Miracast, which is awesome. Also, not only can you cast visual content, but you can also cast to any speaker in, in that has Miracast or Google cast or Chromecast. Um, enable so you can just cast your music to any bluetooth enable speaker now this option right here just allows you to have the screen on while you're casting or you can disable it three let's make sure we take advantage of our battery options here now you can clearly see i'm at 40 percent now if we go down here to battery care now what battery care does is it kind of learns your pattern on what time you plug in your device and what time you unplug. So for me, I currently plug my device anywhere from around midnight to one o'clock and unplug it around 10 o'clock or nine o'clock in the morning. So what, so what it does is it disables almost quick charge where it just gradually charges the phone slowly throughout the night and it knows that by 10 o'clock you need to be at 100 percent so what it'll do is it'll charge it to at 10 o'clock it'll reach 100 percent allowing the phone to prolong its battery life it's an awesome feature to have uh, not too many phones have this feature so ultimately you'll end up saving 
the battery life of the phone. The next tip we have is with the display. Now what we want to do in the display is cater and try to take advantage of the most real estate we can. But first of all, we want what we want to do is uh, enable adaptive brightness if you want if you like to conserve battery life uh, by enabling adaptive brightness will definitely provide you longer battery life second thing what i want to do is this smart backlight control so basically by enabling this it detects when you're looking at a screen so therefore it knows that you're staring at the screen without you touching it at all and it, it'll, it'll allow it to stay on longer. So basically it's like one of those features that some Samsung had a long time ago that it knew you were staring at the screen so it stay lit. Uh, the minute it doesn't recognize you staring at the screen, what's gonna do is it's gonna power down, which is a great feature. Uh, one thing that I really like about this is this, this year it, it allowed us to change the color gamut and contrast here now you do have three options you have the option to turn it off which is just some dull colors and you have the option for a standard mode which is a little bit more vibrant but i want to go super vivid mode now in the super vivid mode the colors are very punchy the contrast is great i love that they give us this option this year uh, because last year you can only change the the contrast and gamut color uh, to actual media like movies, YouTube, and pictures and not the actual phone. This time around, it goes across the board evenly, which is awesome. Also, the white balance right here, if you like warmer whites, uh, meaning a little bit yellow tint to your whites, or you like colder whites, meaning a little bit more blue to your whites, you can cater the whites to your needs here in this option, which not too many phones give you that option, which is one of the great things about this phone here. Um, again you have font size display size this is where i was talking about real estate now you have a 1080p display so i do have it at the smallest setting as you can see that's default which is kind of big i really don't like it and large which is really big so i'm going to go all the way to the smallest setting to take advantage of this big real estate that the six inch sony xperia xa2 has to offer and last adjust the font size um depending on how you like um adjusting the font size if you go smallest it'll give you it'll display more font but that that's a little bit too tiny for me so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep it default tip number five let's go under sound now at first i didn't notice this was in here but let's go to audio settings here now you have two options here you have an option for clear audio plus which is optimizes your sound setting so it makes the speaker a little bit more crisp and louder which is awesome we want to make sure that's enabled and dynamic normalizer so what this does is if you know that sometimes when you play music the music sounds a little bit lower a little bit louder than when you're actually watching videos or uh, watching movies on the phone so that what dynamic normalizer does it minimizes the volume differences between songs and videos so we want to have that option enabled as well now since this is the big phone it is a six inch phone 16 by 9 aspect ratio not only do we have that screen size we have these giant bezels on the bottom and on the top of the phone so in order to make navigation a little bit more breeze or a little bit more easier you do want to enable one-handed operation mode now right here what it does is it got a couple options here i have them all checked out so what it does is it resizes the screen it optimizes the apps uh, so when you whenever you go into one-handed mode the apps don't bug out and act all weird uh, you can also do it for your dial number so when you're in the phone app easily able to dial the numbers uh, the lock screen so when you have your pin it pushes the, the pin numbers to the side so easily one-handed and you can also access notification by double tapping the home button the notification shade comes down which is so let's preview this real quick right here so what we want to do to enable one-handed mode is swipe diagonal up and boom diagonal mode 
if you want to go this way it'll bring it back or if you want to click this one it'll go full screen again but you can go this way and if you're left-handed boom you can go to the other side if you're right-handed boom this side this is a great feature to have especially with a big phone like this you can't really reach up there to pull down your notification shade with one with one hand but what you can do is do this bam look at that beautiful look at that double click the home button and your notification shade comes out that is awesome number seven we want to set up our security uh so now this has a slew of security options here you can do a screen unlock you can do a pin a password or phrase fingerprint i'm using the fingerprint right now it's mounted in the rear it's the first time sony has released a phone in the u.s with fingerprint unlock which is now let's go into assist now this right here gives you a bunch of options a bunch of uh, helpful features to help the phone run a lot better so i'm going to go through them very vague if you guys want to see a more detailed video on assist go ahead and leave a comment below depending on how many people hit me up i'll go ahead and do one so we got xperia actions this is pretty much cool so basically in if you select and enable each one of these it does selected things without you actually doing them so i'm gonna explain gaming so i click on gaming i have have it enabled so every time i game i want it to block notifications it, it goes into doesn't allow any apps running in the background it disables everything and what it does is my performance for gaming which is awesome also i can set my media volume i can adjust the brightness of of the phone so whenever i click i can select the apps too so if i go here uh where do i select three selected apps uh right here so turn on actions when these games are selected so if i click it i have rules of survival selected and i can click any apps or any gaming apps i want it so what it'll do is it'll automatically do those actions when i when it knows that i open up that game which is awesome now you do have multiple actions here or assist here uh good night so basically what this does is it turns off on and on on depending on location it turns on it goes on airplane mode do not disturb it adjusts the battery it optimizes your battery for good night and and it locks into portrait so there's multiple options you can change here which is good um i'm not going to go through all of them but the gaming one is a good example of what the what you can do in this column here on Xperia actions tip number nine um, make sure if you're using Xperia home to go into your system and make sure you back up and restore your Xperia home settings now what this does is you can back up your Xperia home launcher so whenever you buy or purchase another Sony phone you can go ahead and restore it and what it'll do is restore your layout because what this does it backs it up in the cloud and last but not least you want to make sure your phone is updated and you're running the current update now Xperia did drop an update not too long ago it did fix some minor bugs and stuff like that this phone does have bugs i've been encountering them on a daily basis uh, but hopefully you always want to make sure you are <clears throat> on the latest and greatest os available from your current oem so with that being said those are 10 tips and tricks for the sony xperia xa2 ultra thanks for watching guys Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you definitely subscribe and definitely hit that notification bell so when you know when more awesome videos like this drop. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.